Hello friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another Brutus Monroe video. Today I'm going to be using the Feathered Sentiments stamp set along with the Paint Spots stencil and some other great products. Uh, we've got some Sterling Aqua Pigment and some Night Shift Aqua Pigment in the color blue. I'm also going to bring in another Aqua Pigment later as well. And then we're going to be using some surface sprays in the color Locomotive and Abergine. And we're going to be making some ATCs. Now that stands for Artist Trading Cards. They measure three and a half inches by two and a half inches. That's like the only rule for an artist trading card, basically. Uh, and so we've cut down three of those. And artist trading cards are awesome because if your mojo's kind of lacking, it's a smaller surface to work on. And you can either trade them out with other artists or you can put them on the fronts of card fronts as well. So let's get started. I've got my waffle flower media mat out and I'm putting down some of that night shift in the color blue along with some sterling. I'm going to spritz that with a little bit of water and then I'm going to bring in my paintbrush just to swirl it around a little bit. We're going to be doing some ink smushing on these backgrounds. I want to do just I just want to add a lot of interest to these backgrounds and I love that the night shift uh, almost looks like a gray once you've watered it down a little bit but there's those blue hints to it so it's so pretty um, and the neat thing about the night shift is that it looks black typically so um, but because I watered it down it's not going to look quite as quite as black but I will bring in some more night shift products here in a little bit so I'm going to heat set those I want to make sure that those are good and dry and then once those are good and dry, I'm going to splatter just a little bit more on that background for some more texture. Some of that will get lost in that because I'm going to do even more to these little backgrounds. But I'm just splattering all over there and then I'm going to clean up my mess and dry those. And then when those are all dry, I'm going to put a couple of them into my splatter box. I'm going to shake up my um, surface sprays really, really well. You want to make sure that you are shaking until you hear that ball just kind of moving around a lot. So I've sprayed first the Abergine, and then I'm going to come in with some Locomotive. And then I will remove my stencil, and I'll put my third one in there, but I love how that's looking. And I'll do the same thing. I'll just spray some of the Abergine and also the Locomotive. And you'll notice my stencil has a lot of good paint on it, and I don't want any of that to go to waste. So I'm going to grab out a couple pieces of some of my watercolor paper. First, I'm going to put my stencil right down on top of that watercolor paper smush that down really good and here we have a background already ready to go so I can save that for something else or let's say I decide to take this one of these artist trading cards I can put that right on the front of that background but like I said I don't want to waste any of that so I sprayed some water on it I'm gonna grab even one more piece of watercolor paper and smush that down on top and we'll have another background ready to go I just think that is a fun way to use up some of that without you know feeling like you've wasted any of it and then I'll go clean up my mess so here we have them, they're all good and dry, and I love the shimmer, and the dots just look like they're kind of subdued in the background, but isn't that pretty? I love how shimmery they are, that night shift and that silver sparkly ugh, aqua pigment goodness is all over those. So we're going to do some embossing on this background. I've grabbed out one of the sentiments from Feathered Sentiments, and I've got that more up to the top there inside of my mini Misty. I'm going to put my magic powder bag over that just to make sure that I don't have powder sticking where I don't want it. And then I'm going to ink up my sentiment with some embossing ink by Brutus Monroe. It's just a clear sticky ink. So we'll ink that up really well. Now keep in mind I did this on some watercolor paper. And so I also did it on the textured side. And so I want to make sure that I get a good impression. So I'm going to stamp that twice. And then we'll pull that out and we will cover that with some alabaster embossing powder, which is a fine detail white embossing powder. Love this stuff. It's my absolute favorite white embossing powder. And I'm going to heat set that till that is smooth and melted. And I love how that sentiment just kind of pops on that background. And we'll do that for all three. I left this in here because a couple of my little buddies came to see what I was up to. So there's Max. And believe it or not, Miles is even going to show his face here in a little bit. So I'm going to heat set these. And Miles was right behind him. He never shows his face. He's usually always off doing something, but he's been real snuggly lately. All right, I'm going to grab out three of the feathers from the stamp set. And you can tell my feathers are nice and loved. <laughs> You'll see for sure here in a second. I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before. Use my magic powder bag. 
And then I'm going to take that clear sticky ink, my embossing ink, and ink those up really well. And you'll see that my stamp was obviously very dirty. I didn't put it away totally clean, but that's okay. I definitely use the products I have. Uh, and then I'm going to cover this with some night shift embossing powder in the color purple. And those night shift embossing powders are awesome. So here I am covering it. It just looks like a black embossing powder basically. Um, but you'll see, because I'm going to show it up in the light after I've heat set it. And there's a lot of detail in those stamps, but that embossing powder did a really great job of keeping that detail in there. So we're heating that. We're setting it. It's nice and but check it out, it looks black, and then you shift it in the light and it definitely looks purple. So, so cool. I'm gonna leave my embossing powder out because I do wanna do a little bit more with that, but I did pull in some Periwinkle Aqua Pigment. This is one of their metallics, and so it has shimmer as well. You know, I just can't get enough of the shimmer. And all I'm gonna do is just do some sporadic painting on each of these feathers with that blue. I'm gonna leave most of it white, but I do wanna bring in some of that blue so it'll make some of the locomotive from the background maybe pop a little bit because that sentiment be a peacock in a flock of pigeons just speaks to me you just you be you man just don't go out there trying to impress other folks you be who you were created to be and so that sentiment just resonates with me so once I'm done with all the painting I'm going to fussy cut them out I know some of you are gasping like oh, I hate fussy cutting but these these feathers, believe it or not, are super simple to fussy cut. I think it took me maybe a minute to fussy cut all of them out. It was no big deal. And then I'll, like I said, get them all fussy cut out. And then here's where I want to bring in that embossing powder again. I just felt like it needed to be framed a little bit. And so I'm testing it out here. I just smushed my embossing ink on the edge and then I stuck that into the embossing powder and then I'll heat set that and I actually really love the way that that looks so I'm gonna go ahead and do that all around the entire outside edge of my ATC and then I'll just dip dip it right into the embossing powder that's in that coffee filter and then we'll heat set that and I'm gonna do that for all three because I just really really like how that turned out and it's cool because like I said, it looks black, but then you shift it in the light a little bit and it looks purple again. Such a neat concept. Never seen anything like that. And then we're gonna take some of the Brutus Monroe foam tape. This stuff is awesome. I love the black foam tape. It is my new favorite. And so I'm just gonna stick that all over the back of my feathers. And I actually cut really well. I did a good job. It fit perfectly all over three of all three of those feathers. I'll peel off the release paper and then I'll stick those down. And then we'll take a look at these. I think they turned out really fun. So like I said, you can leave them as is. I'm actually going to take these and probably make a bunch more because I am going to May May Made It Con in July. God willing, as long as it doesn't get canceled again. Um, but uh, yeah, so there are ATCs. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, thank you for stopping by and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye everybody.